Okay, so welcome to the PhD program, okay, at the uh, Industrial Engineering, you know, at Mapua University in the Philippines, okay, so this is the uh, the prerequisite class for those who are not graduated from Industrial Engineering, yes, actually you have to pass three classes, multivariate analysis, multi-criteria decision making, and also another one is the human factors in ergonomics, okay, so um, as everyone knows, okay, uh, I'm Dr. Yogi, I'm an associate professor, uh, at the Mapua University starting 2019. And then I'm actually from Indonesia. Uh, I study in Indonesia, but I study in Japan and I study in Taiwan. So that's why I speak uh, uh, Japanese and I speak uh, uh, Chinese also, okay? Oh my God, that's cute. Your, your son wants to study PhD. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Handy, your son wants to study PhD, perhaps. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh, my PhD student is actually here. Tana Thorn, Sawadikrap. So, yeah, that's uh, the, the... Hello, sir. Hello. Okay, Sabadi, my crap. <laughs> Everything Chicken is good? my crap. Okay. okay. Hey. <laughs> hey, I'm recording this one, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm Dr. Yogi. And then uh, I will be the, you know what, uh, your faculty, okay, in, 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 in this uh, PhD program. And then the requirement of this PhD program is actually you need to um, publish two STI or SSTI index journals, okay, uh, in order to graduate, okay. And for the class, you have to pass four classes. So you have to select three um, classes uh, for your, you know, that depends on your interest, okay. And then uh, I'm actually teaching human factors and ergonomics. And then later on, you will see me in the seminar class, okay. Uh, my specialty is human factors and ergonomics, okay. But I'm actually also expanding my research expertise in, uh, for instance, like uh, in consumer behavior, okay. I'm also expanding that. And also in the data, um, data mining, I'm also trying to learn those things and actually try to apply you know those data mining techniques in uh, some of my publications okay and then um yeah basically like uh, those uh you know uh, all of you already know from my profile okay so and then uh yeah i publish separate journals and separate conference uh, papers uh, conference proceedings and so on oh don't worry everyone later on you know uh in mapua you know during your study mapua will pay all the publication fee if you submit your journal in the journal that has a uh, publication fee okay uh, the apc i mean and then after that like uh, for the conference okay uh, mapua will also give you the the funding okay so don't worry about the 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 budget for later on you have to you know if you really need the budget for the journals or the conference because i can request for the uh, the budget okay so are you ready everyone i think everyone is ready okay so this class is actually there this class is actually the multivariate class okay Okay, so this is actually the IE206. This is actually for the master degree program, but I think I would like to invite some of the PhD students, including some of the future PhD students to try to really see what will happen, you know, uh, with uh, uh, this one. It's already good, you know, if you go back a little bit to the master degree level, and after that, you can, you know, try to speed up in the PhD level, okay? So let me uh, start with this one. I think everybody knows this one, right? The nominal ordinal interval for end ratio, okay? So this is a very basic one, okay? Just just a, a, a super basic one. I know everybody already know, no, everybody knows about this one. But the, later on, everyone, interval in ratio, you know, usually in the, in the SPSS, you know, they just uh, become scale, okay? So usually these two just, just become, uh, you know, the same, okay? But ordinal and nominal, be careful, okay? So later on, you have to define it very clearly. And then everyone knows about the ones, right? What is the alpha? What is the beta? You know, why alpha 0 0.5? I believe that everybody already knows about the, this one. So I do not need to, uh, you know, what? I, I do not need to uh, tell about this one because this is a very undergraduate level, okay? Okay, now, um, okay, this one, very important, okay, everyone? Although, you know, uh, everyone already in a PhD program, but this table is actually very uh, powerful, okay? Even for me, when I got lost, you know, it's like, mm, what kind of statistical analysis is good? You know, if you have a strong concept, okay, then you will know, you know, which statistical technique that you need to do. For example, okay, uh, in here, you have to define, you know, the measurement scale, either nominal, ordinal, or interval ratio. And then you have to see, you know, how many sample tests, you know, how many cases, only one, only two, or even more than two. For example, if this one, this one, if you have this kind of data, 
And you would like to see, you know, is there a statistically significantly different between year one and year two? Okay, what kind of statistical technique you need to do? This is very simple, right? So in here, you have to answer what kind of uh, data is this? This is a uh, ratio data, okay? And the second one, how many? There are two. So there are two and then ratio data, okay? So this is like there are two. Okay, that's, that's actually ratio data. So either you have to answer right, related or independent. Is it related or independent? Related, right? It's actually from the same, right? The same sample, right? So in order to answer that one, you have to use what? T-test for pair sample. Okay, so like this is the answer because it is related, okay? If it is more, if you have three or more, four or five, then you have to use the repeated measure ANOVA, okay? Uh, this is very, but don't worry, you know, everyone later on, I will go back to the repeated measure ANOVA and ANOVA because this is actually quite uh, important when you see me in the uh, IE311, okay? Uh, later on, because so, so many, uh, I would like to say so many uh, ergo researchers is actually quite uh, confused, you know, which one is better? repeated measure or just ANOVA, okay? Because those two are a little bit different, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is the core of this class, okay? So this class is actually about multivariate, okay? Then we will learn about these eight techniques. I know some of you perhaps like, oh, this is just repeated in that one. Or some of you just like, oh, okay. Uh, this is actually just like, uh, I know about that technique. I know about uh, this technique and so on. But, you know, uh, everyone, I will go deep, very deep. Trust me, you know? For example, oh, about SEM. I know about SEM before, but I'm, I will go to like super advanced up to like second order, okay? I will go to the second order SEM and so on, okay? And then, uh, for example, multiplinear regression. I think everybody knows this one. Factor analysis is very simple, I think. Or logistic regression. This is actually, we can do the um, uh, either with the uh, Python perhaps later on. MANOVA, conjoin, oh, I love conjoin analysis, okay? We will spend more time in conjoin analysis. And we will do another one, data mining, okay? Using the cluster analysis, okay? Either the k-means, either the hierarchical, okay? And then, um, but later on, you will uh, study more in the data mining in the uh, 313, I think IE 313, yeah. It's actually the data analytics, okay? That is actually more advanced, you know? You will use Python, you will combine cluster with the, uh, I don't know, meta heuristics things, you know. Oh, sorry, my internet is a little bit unstable, but it's hopefully it's fine. <clears throat> and then we will do the multi-dimensional scaling and the final one with the structural uh, equation model, okay? Now, may I know, uh, I usually will ask my students. I don't want to be like me speaking all the time. So Mr. Lee, which one you think that uh, you already know? <clears throat> Mr. Lee, which one you already know from this A technique, may I know? <clears throat> Mr. Lee, <clears throat> from this A technique, which one you know? No, I think you know some, some techniques, right? Or let me ask uh, Pai Hendi. Pai Hendi, uh, which one uh, you already know from this A techniques? <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the my speed. Okay, so what I mean here is among these eight techniques, which one you know? Which one you already understand? No? Okay, what about let me ask uh, Pak Handy? Which one? <clears throat> okay, wait for a while. Handy. Uh, yeah, which but I think you, um, which are you very familiar know? for me is uh, number one. Okay. Multiple and? regression. Yes, and then multiple regression. Uh, number two, factor analysis, and number eight, structural equation modeling. But I'm a bit confused about what is different between number two and number eight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's different. In many it's different. Oh, yeah. Um, um, because in many literature about uh, SEM, always uh, factor analysis be there. Um, factor analysis, there are two. It's actually the, you know, oh. the first one is actually confirmatory factor analysis. The second one is the exploratory uh, yes, yes. factor analysis. The one that you know is actually this one, oh, yeah, confirmatory yeah. factor analysis. Yeah, yeah. Okay, confirmatory factor analysis, okay? And then this one, perhaps I will 
talk more about the exploratory factor analysis. Uh, yeah, a little bit uh, later on, you will you will you will know the difference. Okay, let me ask uh, uh, Bu Filska, which one you already know among this? Pak Filsa actually, Pak. Pak Filsa. Oh, actually. oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay, Pak Filsa. Uh, which think one, Pak? The chapters uh, is taken from the hair books, yeah, isn't it? Oh, I use hair book. I use hair book. It's a legend, you know. Up until now, when yeah. I get confused, I use the hair book, you know. I never underestimate her book. I love, really like her book. So, which one already uh, you already know about this one, sir? Pak Filska, which one? Factor analysis, multiple regression, and conjoin is also familiar. The cluster okay. analysis is okay. Sam is maybe uh, the expert is from Dr. Handy. Yeah? Okay, 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 <clears throat> okay. But anyway, uh, my favorite actually, uh, Pak, my favorite is actually conjoin. <laughs> I mean, I'm a typical, uh, mar I don't know why, uh, my undergraduate thesis is actually conjoined and I really like conjoined, but later on, uh, but I have to focus on the structural equation modeling first because but the, the somehow it's actually more powerful for the PhD program. And then, uh, you know, later on, I will, I will do the opposite. Okay, after today, uh, we will learn the most difficult one <laughs> and then starting from the next thing is going to be uh, easier, okay? And then uh, Bu Fuji, Bu Fuji Rahayu, <coughs> Bu Fuji Rahayu. Uh, yes. Which, okay, which one, which one is familiar for you? Which one is familiar for you in here? I think multiple regression is familiar for me and okay. same structural okay. equation modeling. And you, come on, you already, you already know how to do SEM? Mm, maybe same. Yes. Okay, okay, using what software? May mm. I know what software? Uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, using PLS and Amos for uh, structural equation equation modeling. Okay, then it means it's good. <clears throat> if if you already understand the SEM and and then oh, what else? Okay, multiple linear regression. Okay, and what what else? Uh, and then cluster analyze. Uh huh. And then conjoin. No. Conjoin. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm about I like conjoin. <laughs> then don't worry. If you, if you come to my class, you have to know conjoin. I love conjoin analysis. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Okay. So at least now I know some backgrounds uh, among uh, you know, in here. Okay. Wow. Sir Taninrat is in here. Okay. So what the craft, Sir Taninrat? <laughs> Okay, I'm happy that. Uh... Hello, Yogi. <laughs> so, my <dear> Minecraft. <laughs> Good. Okay, I know you're busy, sir. <laughs> okay, so uh, everyone, uh, wow, we have so many nationalities in here. Okay, in my class, but anyway, okay. So, in this class, okay, in the eleven weeks, okay, everyone. We will uh, do all these things, okay? Uh, all the techniques or eight uh, different techniques, okay? <clears throat> so this is just a glimpse. I'm going to show, you know, the things, okay? This is very simple, right? For the linear regression and then multiple linear regression, okay? The difference between linear regression and multiple linear regression is, is very simple. You know, the X, you know, the independent variable is actually more than one, okay? Very simple, okay? With the simple and this one, okay? So if there is an equation like this one, you can see it's actually uh, later on, you know, uh, in multiple linear regression like this one. And then you have you have to check, you know, some of the uh, assumptions in the uh, multiple linear regressions, okay? Other multicollinearity, normality, homoscedasticity, you know, independency, and also autocorrelation, okay? So uh, we will go with the multiple linear regression in week three, okay? Um, yeah, well, sometimes, you know, your model is not that complicated, so you can just use the simple uh, multiple linear regression, but uh, in more complex, you know, then you will have to understand that's the time you, know, you, you have to use the structural equation model, okay? Now, okay, this is the second technique. Uh, this is actually good for, pa, uh, uh, actually, pa, oh, pa Hendy, sorry, he is actually out. <laughs> Okay, let me join. Let me, you know, uh, invite him again for the part handy because he is using the second device. Okay, so about factor analysis in here. 
<clears throat> so let me uh, uh, answer okay the 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 some of the confusion uh, that raised by Pak Hendy okay so uh, Pak Hendy for factor analysis in here uh, we can call it the dimension reduction or uh, in here that I would like to do is actually the exploratory factor analysis okay so we try to group them for example among these people okay among all of us among eight seven or eight of us okay. Uh, later on, just imagine all of us input in one box and we shake, you know, and we shake and then we rotate. And later on, we can see how many groups among us. Later on, we can see, oh, some of us are from Thailand. Some of us are from Indonesia. Some of us, some of us are from China. So later on, you know, we can group them. You know, we can actually uh, group them based on the factor. Okay. So for instance, okay, this one will go to the one dimension. That's why we call it dimension reduction. So from this one, how many variables? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there are 12, right? So among these 12, we would like to reduce the number of the, we want to reduce the number of the factors. 12 is too, too many. Can I reduce it into three based on the similarity? Yes. So in here, one, two, three, four, it becomes one. Becomes one factor. This one becomes the second one. This one becomes the, the, you know, the third one, okay? So in here, um, uh, the difference between this one in the structural equ equation modeling, okay? Later on, the difference is for confirmatory factor analysis, we already decide how many we would like to group them. But here, we just up to them, oh, by nature, you know, by nature, you know, uh, you can group them by the nature. How later on you can later on you can see from the Euclidean distance. I will explain it very details when we go to the factor analysis. Okay, so in here, uh, uh, Handy, is it clear? So in here, in the dimension reduction, this is actually we try to reduce the number of the factors. Okay, but for the structural equation modeling or confirmatory factor analysis, okay, we already decide how many factors, and we would like to confirm that one goes to which one. Is it uh, clear, Pak Hendy? Like that one, the the the, the very basic one. Clear, Pak Yogi. Thank yeah, you. Clear, right? Okay, clear. So, okay, that one is clear. Because in here, we don't know. For example, this one goes to, oh, eventually it goes to factor two. But in confirmatory, this one, it goes to factor one. Uh, you know, you would like to confirm this one goes to factor one or not. You know, that is the difference between the exploratory and confirmatory. Okay. Okay, don't worry. After this one, I, I would like to go to the structural equation modeling on the first day. Okay, so everyone stay tuned on uh, for today. Okay, this is the another technique that we will discuss in the week four or week five. Okay, this is about the uh, logistic regression, and usually people for public health they always use the logistic regression, like you know, uh, people got COVID or not. You know, you got COVID or not, and then based on cer certain indicators. Okay, oh, if you have fever, if you have uh, uh, you know, you cannot short of breath, you know, and then you can, you have anosmia and then like uh, you have uh, what, you know, you have uh, uh, so many, you know, uh, you have some symptoms, you know, and how many is the probability for you to get the COVID, something like that. Okay. So um, logistic regression is actually different from multiple linear regression because in here, you know, in logistic regression, the Y is actually one or zero. It's like you dead or not, something like that. You got COVID or not, something like that one. It's not like somehow COVID, you don't have like that one, right? I mean, you have COVID or you have, you, you're positive or negative, okay? Something like, you know, as simple as zero or one, okay? But in a multiple linear regression, okay, this one is actually uh, the metric, okay? For example, that the, uh, your height, you know, your weight, you know, that is using this one. But logistic regression is like healthy or not healthy. Uh, you got accepted or you got uh, you know uh, disqualified something like that okay so later on we will talk about logistic regression this is manova <clears throat> so don't worry this is just like multiple uh, group of anova so this is multiple multiple you know anova but you do it multiply so it's going to be like multiple anova that's why they call it manova okay so we will talk about this one uh, week 6 Oh, this is my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, I will talk about this one a little bit more. I love conjoin analysis, everyone. 
I'm probably so many in conjoining okay? and then I'm so I don't know I really like uh, it's so funny that that some of my colleagues like told me that oh you really like SEM you publish SEM so many I'm like no I actually I like conjoin more right if I have to choose okay so uh, I will explain this one very deep okay this is very good for marketing actually conjoin analysis okay and then we have a uh, cluster analysis okay uh, we can use SPSS or later on we can use the Python okay for the cluster analysis okay, everyone okay and then for the cluster analysis okay uh, we will talk about the hierarchical R and then later on we use the gaming is another one okay last we will talk about this one the structural equation modeling but uh, I know everyone in here has no I would like to say a different backgrounds in the SEM. Some of you already are very advanced, very advanced. What I mean, some of you perhaps very new. But now I would like everyone today. You know, we have uh, how many hours left? We have uh, a one and a half. You know, we will learn about SEM from basic to advanced. So you know when when you use SEM and when you only use the multiple linear regression or when you only use the uh, factor analysis. Okay, so those are actually. Uh, you know we will learn today okay and then for the book uh this is very old book okay uh my book but don't worry but uh don't be don't underestimate this book everyone you know what even for me i still have this book hard copy and then full of my writing you know full of my uh you know notes and so on so that's why you know i don't think i don't have books like uh like the most of the female students you know in the past you know but i usually just use my book you know what uh, um, the, the you know the the textbook you know for my uh you know holy book i would like to say okay <laughs> and don't worry about the the score you know in, in my class is very easy to get the a plus or 1.00 is actually the highest score okay so don't worry about the class uh i say well, don't worry about the score you know uh because in phd people don't 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 ask oh how good is your gpa in phd people actually will ask like uh, how, how many publications you do or how good your journal is, you know, when you are in the doctoral degree program. Okay, so that is the difference between um, BS, um, BS, MS, and now everyone is actually in the doctoral degree program. Okay, so far from those, uh, any questions before I go to the, you know, uh, everyone, uh, before I go to the SEM? Don't worry, you can have coffee, you can have, uh, you know, even for me, you know, I always, Behind my me is my fridge, so I I always uh, you know eat something you know and then drink something you know just make it comfortable. Okay, any questions so far? But Handy, any questions? Yeah, Pak Yogi, but uh, all of students uh, here will will get like some guidance about publication, right? Of course. <laughs> This is just yeah. Don't worry about that one. You know, I will do the academic. Uh, uh, I will. Do, as I would like to say, I will train the academic uh, uh, writing. You know, during the first day uh, when you enroll this Saturday, this Saturday, uh, I would like to, you know, let everyone go from the scratch. All the thing, forget about all the what you've learned. You know, let's just go from the very basic, and from the basic, you can build up. I mean, my my senior high school student published Q one. I'm not joking. Senior high school. Publish Q1 in Elsevier. You oh. can check their name. <laughs> senior high school. So if senior high school can publish Q1 in free journal, so I think Pak Handy can publish 20 papers. <laughs> 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 you can publish. But don't worry. You know, my, my PhD student graduate in one year with 50 papers. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I senior mean, high school students over there they are required to publish their Scott, uh, paper. Not, not human. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is actually Tanathorn is my uh, third PhD student who will graduate. Hey, how long it takes mm. for you, Tanathorn, for you to graduate? One and half, right? One and yes, one and one and uh, about nine eight, months. Eight months. Yeah, one yeah. year, eight months. Yeah, one year, eight months. You can get PhD. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's actually from the first batch from Thailand. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, don't worry about that, but you know, so <clears throat> you know, but uh, you have to work hard. <laughs> if you disappear, you know. <laughs> okay, bye, okay. <laughs> you know, some students. By your guidance, actually... I'm confident, but. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So don't disappear. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I call, 
every night it's like hey you know what chase this one i mean you know and then then uh, but no drama don't worry pa. i'm not a typical drama person <laughs> i'm not a drama you know uh, uh you know advisor you know but not on did you know uh, and did i scold it you before no right never right <laughs> no 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 but never, if, right? if uh, it, can he, if you choose if you choose him as a as your uh, advisor you will get call every night <laughs> no 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 you're joking you're joking no no no, no. don't try to okay <laughs> Don't try to. You can ask. Uh, you can ask Arfin on. Within you know, one year, you can graduate. <laughs> hey, finish your dissertation, okay? You know, uh, fix your abstract, okay? So, <laughs> okay. So let me uh, stop. Yeah, yeah. Let me stop that recording, okay? For the first one.